Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty Metropolis of Marty. A very windy day here today. I'm sure you can hear roaring. The tree's just a shaking, but look at the bike we got today. This is a 2023 Honda CB500X. I've always wanted to ride one of these. So what is it? It is a 471 cc parallel twin, liquid cooled, dual overhead cam, four valve per cylinder hot rod with a six speed transmission. Puts out about 47 horsepower and about 32 foot pounds of torque. Check that engine out. That is uh, 43 Newton meters, by the way. So there's a radiator, very nice. It's got uh, these amazing 296 millimeter disc brakes, dual disc on the front, four piston Nissans. Check it out, four piston calipers. Very good looking, floating on mags. It's a 19 inch wheel. I think it's a 19, let's read the, it's a 190, I'm sorry, it's a 180-19 front wheel. On the rear, it's a 160-60-17. Check that out. The disc on the back is a 240 millimeter ABS front and rear. That looks like a single piston Nissan. It's a monoshock rear end. Let's go back here to the front. It's an inverted fork, 41 millimeter tube, 5.9 inches of travel. That's uh, 150 millimeters. Isn't that just so well done? I like that. Modern motorcycles are really a beautiful thing. I, there's a lot about this I like. We'll talk about some of the other things too. The rear suspension is a monoshock with about 5.3 inches of travel. It's about 135 millimeters. Wheelbase on this hot rod, 56.8 inches. That's uh, 1,443 millimeters. Seat height, 32.8 inches. That's 833 millimeters. Check that out. I don't think it looks that wide. It looks pretty narrow. I bet it's pretty comfortable. I mean, the seat's really cut back. So we'll, we'll see what we think about that. Fuel tank, 4.6 gallons, that's 17 and a half liters. Wet weight on this hot rod. I did not write down the weight. Well, bad me, bad me. I will put that down below right now. There's the weight, ha ha. Okay, let's put the list away and take a look at this thing. We'll start at the front. I like the way this looks through here. It's got the inverted forks, they're gold. It's got the protector over the, the uh, part that uh, is bare. Uh, axial mount calipers, dual disc brakes in the front. I think this is the first year of the dual disc brakes. Nifty little fairing. One thing I noticed is this is not adjustable up or down. This little bar here, I thought this was a grab handle to adjust it. It is actually a mount for you know, like a GPS or something like that. The other thing I noticed was a screen. Now I like the screen. I like the idea of the screen. I have not rode this bike. It seems kind of small but only in the tachometer area, really. It does have this little sun shield. The uh, speedometer looks large, and I can't really see if it has a gear indicator or not. This bike has 719 miles on it, oil, oil light, ABS light, neutral light, clock right up at the top. Tachometer on this side, looks like a, uh, maybe a 10,000 RPM red line. Kind of an interesting thing here. Past the flash, high lows, horn. <laughs> Blinkers on this side, kill switch, hazard light, start switch. Um, it is not ride by wire. Looks like Showa forks on the front here. And the uh, brake lever is adjustable, the clutch lever is not. Neat area. Now this looks like it would give you good lick protection. Huh, has built in knee pads, that's nice. We already talked about the seat. It's got a very wide back seat. I wonder how that is. Very firm bars for holding on. The back end. That's kind of nifty, isn't it? Let's turn the tail light on. Take a look at that for a minute. Oh yeah, all LED lighting. Blinkers are LED. Tail lights LED. Check that out. I'm guessing the headlight is too. Oh yes, absolutely is. You know what I think? I think I'm going to gear up and we're going to go for a ride on this wonderfully windy day. <laughs> Let's go get blown away. Wahoo! Check out that color. What do you all think of that? I'm not sure what that's called. I'll have to look that up throwing a leg over it for the first time. Uh, I'm on my tiptoes, not on my total tiptoes, but I'm not flat footing it at all. It does not feel wide though, it feels pretty slim. That's that seat. Man, is it a windy day, huh? Hey, exhaust pipe alley. <laughs> Sounds like any good Honda should, right? The obligatory spin test. Very good clutch, very light clutch, incredibly light clutch, but good feel. Eh, kind of a generic feel on it. Can't really tell where you are in the clutch with it, but it is a good feel. Six-speed transmission. 
nice shifting, very nice shifting. Light, very crisp. No effort at all. There's, you know, like the clutch, no effort at all. It works very well. I like the mirrors, I like the mirrors. Beautiful, beautiful. Picks up speed really well. Let's do our little figure eight here. 56 point something, I think it was 1400 and some odd. I'll put the uh, wheelbase down below. Handles very well. This is a nice handling motorcycle. Very disciplined, look at that. Very nice tight turn. Picks up excellent. Shifts incredibly well. Very positive shifting, but yet very light and crisp shifting. How much fuel do we have? I cannot see the fuel gauge. I can't see the dash very well. I don't know if you can make that brighter or not. Welcome to South Marnie. Da, da, da. <laughs> I like this engine. That might be the first time I've ever, I think I might have rode a Rebel 500 once. Dual disc brakes on the front. I think they were a 296 millimeter disc with four piston calipers. Let's try those. Wow. Excellent brakes, at least in that little amount of time. Very good, very good. You know, it's a windy day. I think the wind is coming from our left. We're gonna, we're gonna do just a bit of highway just to see what it's like. Let's go make some noise. Snatching some gears here. There is a gear indicator. It's in the middle of the tachometer right there. I am struggling to read that dash. It's a little small. The mirrors are excellent. I love the I love the mirrors. They're nice, they're wide, they're long, and they're not they're not buzzy at all. They're very clear. Look at how this thing turns. Incredible handling, really. Very nice, very nice. Little power socket right down here. Says 12 volt. I think the rear monoshock has a nine settings for the preload. I think that's the only adjustment on that. The front doesn't look like there's any kind of adjustment. Usually these bikes are pretty neutral with the uh, fork adjustment, so that's a good thing. I do like the way this handles. Looks like there's a heat gauge right over here to the left. It's a bit gear sensitive, I'd say, but I would expect that, a 500cc parallel twin. Let's see if we can do about a spin test here. I love the way it handles. I just love the way it handles. Very tight handling. When y'all get yourselves down here to the mighty mini tropolis of Marnia, Iowa, make sure you stop here at the derailed grill right there. Make sure you try their Wahoo Burger. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. You know, when that dash gets a little sunlight on it, you can see it pretty well. And okay, when it gets in the shade like this, I have a little trouble with it. I think you, you can definitely tell that it's a little low on torque, but it's got everything else so well. You know, the brakes work very well. And it does have six speeds. You just have to dance on the shifter a little bit. No problems at all there. What did it say, uh, 42 horsepower? So that's plenty of power, really. Just gotta be a little gear sensitive. That's not a problem at all. Uh, I think we just brought the front wheel off the ground a little bit there. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like this a lot. It's a very nice little bike. Very well mannered, very disciplined, very uh look at that. It handles superbly. The clutch is incredibly light. The shifter is very, very light and very quick to go from gear to gear. Short throwed. Nifty bike. If y'all in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type, Japanese bike like this one, get yourselves over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. They've got parts, things, doodads, accessories, everything you can imagine. Or go to BaxterCycle.com, make sure you tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Sweet googly woogly, they have got it all. Now it's a very windy day here. <laughs> I'm going to go park this thing and uh, go hop on my Moto Guzzi and make some noise. That's a much heavier bike. That'll do better in the wind. Life is good, my friends. Life is good. Get yourselves out there and ride. Wahoo!